Hey, what's up guys? Lindsay here. Uh, I picked up this Batman Ninja Turtles 2 number one basically out of curiosity because I didn't even know that there was a number one. So to me it's like, I don't even know how you do that. And apparently they've cracked the code twice on this one. So I was like, alright, I'll get in. I'll see what's up. Cover, Batman looks absolutely beastly. I, I don't know how I feel about Damien in general, but you got the whole crew, you got Bane here, and you got Dantel looking sufficiently frightened because he is the worst turtle out of all the turtles, out of all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He's the worst. Fight me on it. Leonardo is the best. Okay, so we start in this guy. He's running out of the subway. He's calling the police. He's telling them that he's telling the 911 operator that he needs the police. And he's like, the, the lights, the lights went out. And I'm, I'm pretty scared of the dark, so you can see how. Ooh, why did I travel underground? And she was like, sir, if this, this is a maintenance issue, like, come on, dude. And he's talking about how he heard a voice that didn't sound human at all, which is weird because nothing else can talk, so technically everything sounds human that speaks, but you know what, I'm just being a dick about it. So, she's saying, she asked him what the voice said, what did it say? Oh man, get ready. Get ready for this, it was frightening. It was Cowabunga! Holy shit! Frightening. Frightening. Now, the whole, this whole spread is pretty cool. I've never read a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic. I know it's, at least when it started, it was violence and, you know, generally not the turtles that regular people think of, so I'm in interested in that aspect of it. And you see that guy from the beginning, and look, the turtles have made him spill his drink. Now, from watching Diversity in Comics, watching our boy Zach, we know that deodorant costs $7.00. Dry shampoo costs like 50 pounds a kilo. 50 pounds is in European money. I didn't totally just fuck up the metrics on that. You can't be going around spilling a man's drink. That's like, what, 30? 50,000 pesos? You can't be doing that. So they're zooming through the subway, you know, like, why not? And uh, Mikey, they tell him, they're just like, Mikey, wh why, are why are you eating? Why are you eating, dog? And he says that it's pizza bagels, but tell me that this isn't kibble. Like, are they just straight up feeding Mikey dog food because he's so stupid that he, he won't know the difference? If you, you give Mikey dog chow and you call it pizza bagels and he'll eat it? Is that what we're doing here? So they're zooming through the subway. Um, there are apparently some foot clan guys who are wanting to take out this girl. This is how her name is spelled. Look, I know a lot of English, and I know a lot of Spanish, but I don't know how to say that name. And I hate it when people mispronounce names, so I'm just going to call her K to you know, alleviate that potential headache. So these guys want to take over the Foot Clan. This is Shredder's daughter, which how... When? Like, as far as I know, I've only seen Shredder surrounded by mutants and other men. So how did she... Did he just steal a baby? I wouldn't put it past him. Uh, Michelangelo saves her. Apparently they've had some beef in the past, so she's like, come on. Come on with this. I don't need you no know, nose having help. They kick them out. But unfortunately, they end up right where Donatello is, but of course. God, he's such the worst fucking turtle. They're on the subway, and instead of fighting him, he threatens them with the third rail of the subway, which is, if you don't know about that, that, that's how people would die. That's how many, like, I know a lot of graffiti stuff, so I definitely know to avoid the third rail, and, um, I'm pretty sure some graffiti artists probably in the 80s got fucked by the third rail. Um, skip this page over here. Donatello ends up fighting them a little bit, and guess what? He gets his ass kicked, because he's not the best turd. Um, oh, I do want to show this bit. He threatens them with the electricity of the third rail to knock them out, and they're just like, what the fuck, dude? We're ninjas. Ninjas aren't afraid of electricity. I don't know if that's real, but I feel confident in saying it. Saying it. So if you're a ninja and you disagree, if you're a ninja and you're scared of electricity, tell me. I gotta know. 
And uh, he, of course he drops his gun, because I don't know why, but the character of the super intelligent guy, or girl, they have butterfingers. Like, that isn't, like, dude, every single TV show, there's a smart person who is, who just has butterfingers, they're incapable. So, of course, the rest of the turtles come and save him. Yeah, they get there just in time. And, of course, Raphael takes care of him, and Leonardo and Mikey. And I like this part, where Raphael sort of, sort of rips on Donatello pretty hard. While also trying to defend him, it's like, later, or I think Donatello's gonna be ruminating about this comment for all of time, no matter what. Every time he looks at Raphael, he's gonna be like, dude, you, you think less of me? What? Look at that, look at that dope face. He's like, just because Donnie's not as good a fighter as the rest of us, doesn't mean he's not a million times better than you, than scum like you. I swear to God, I know how to read. But here's the thing, Donnie. Here's the thing, Raphael. Donnie is still a zero. So if, if you multiply zero by a million, what do you get? You get zero. And Mikey, of course, wants to thank the pizza gods that they got down there in time. And you know, we should all be thinking the pizza gods. I don't think the pizza gods enough. We should be thinking the pizza gods on the daily. Um, whether it's all bower heads. I would like to thank specifically the pizza gods for bestowing the garlic crusted dominoes. Oh, God. Thank you, pizza gods. I don't know if, the, if society was ready for that invention, but you took a chance on us. I'd also like to thank the Pizza Gods for introducing me to pesto sauce on a pizza and spinach. Because you gotta get those greens in, but you still gotta be eating that pizza. Um, amen and salute. Okay, so let's get this next page where you see Batman a little bit for the first time. Um, you see, look at this Batman. He is huge. This Batman's leg is like the width of my waist. I love it when Batman is drawn just huge, just all muscle. Huge. He's threatening this ninja. They find out that there is Ra's al Ghul proved himself too weak and that there's another Lazarus pit in Gotham. Oh, well, I shouldn't have to say this, but turtles are in New York. Batman's in Gotham. Right, so they're back in the lair. They're, pa they're patching Donnie up with what appears to be a metal straw because you know plastic straws are destroying the ocean. Look at this guy. He is he's blown the entire turtle bandage budget just on himself. And uh, he's just they can't afford any more band-aids after this and you get this cool spread of what makes all the turtles you know, their own unique turtle. Leo of course meditating with his badass swords. Raphael's destroying this punching bag. There's probably a pile of exploded punching bags somewhere. And Mikey is playing playing video games, eating pizza. Oh, I'm wondering if he's playing multiplayer because I don't know how that works at all. Uh, they're talking about how apparently, like with Shredder's daughter in the Foot Clan, there's having some beef in between the factions, so that's a big deal. Mikey keeps talking about the pizza gods, and you know, I would, I would, <laughs> I would straight up buy a book, pretending to be written by Mikey, that's just proverbs and tales about pizza, the healing power of pizza. You know how many times where, in my life, pizza has been the solution? Pizza has also been the problem, but you know how you solve pizza problems? With more pizza. Probably cold pizza. That's the way you do it. And then April um, talks about how everything is it's too hot right now. They shouldn't be going out. I mean, in public, which I mean, uh, should you ever be going out in public? Raphael says, hey, Casey and I were going to sneak into the Rangers game. I don't know if I've ever seen the Turtles into hockey. That seems like he's just trying to be cool with Casey for some reason. And look at Leonardo's face. He was like, I will chop you up, all of you, into turtle human chowder. Before I go to a fucking hockey game. And I don't know why, I don't know why April is giving them rules. I thought for a moment that, like, um, 
Splinter was dead or something, but no. Nah. Donnie just like sulks and he wants to go talk to Splinter about his troubles. And he just gets into a conversation and is like, look, the um, Batman, he's going to understand my problems. Batman is smart. He's funny. He's handsome. He's muscular. He's probably got a big dick. What? No. Um, hmm? What were we talking about? <laughs> he's just, he just thinks Batman's the only one who can understand him, which is like, not to tell. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? You think, you think you're on Batman's level? Oh, I forgot about this. Um, before he goes skulks in to get some wise words from Splinter to confirm what he already wanted to confirm. He says, I'm just the, I'm just the one who got his shell handed to him. Well, that's, that's good. You need your shell. Can turtles survive without their shell? I don't really know a lot about turtles. I, that's on me. And then cut back to Batman and Damien. They're looking for the Lazarus Piss. They run, they run into these ninja man bats, which... How long do you think? How long do you think those man bats were just like above near the Lazarus pit, pit entrance, being like, "Look, Bat we know Batman's coming, right? Agreed, everybody. Batman will be coming. Let's just hang up here until it happens." And then this one, this one's like, "But he beats us every time, every time." It's like, "Look, but we'll get to jump on him. This guy's we literally we get to jump on him every time, and we always fuck it up." You guys, it's gonna be it's gonna be sweet. Just do this for me. Just hang upside down for days or weeks. He's coming, I swear. This fucking character. And then we get to this this part of Donatello. This part made me laugh. Like, I think this probably isn't a big deal to people who actually read Ninja Turtles, but this this drawing right here. Donnie trying to go incognito. It's like, look, what do New Yorkers wear? We've got pea coats? Yeah. We've got these high tech and or weird glasses got this Ben Grimm hat knee pads yep they're always wearing knee pads uh, never know never know when life's gonna get hard in New York you're gonna want those pads um, they do carry a bow staff they definitely don't cover up their three-fingered giant hands giant green hands and uh, no shoes this is the modern day New Yorker so he goes he goes and gets the uh, I get an experimental multiversal teleportation system, which I guess is how they did the first Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles thing. And then I'm going to skip this page. It's just uh, Damien and Batman fighting at the Lazarus Pit. And Donnie triggers that thing, and then you see Bane for the first time, just for a second. He's, he's getting ready to... So the whole thing is, the League of Assassins, they need a new leader. And they've chosen Bane, and Bane is telling Batman, like, you, you didn't want this power? You're crazy. It's like, now that I've tasted it, do you think I will ever allow you to lock me away again? So he's got the taste of Lazarus Pit. He, he's not giving that up. He was already powerful, now he's ostensibly two times as powerful? That's all he needs to be, Batman. Right before he's getting ready to hand out some lessons... Bane and Donatello, they switch places. So Donatello ends up with Batman and Damien in Gotham, and you see how massive. You thought Batman was huge in this. Just look at this. Is it, like, is this with the venom inside of him, or just a Lazarus pit that made him like this? This is crazy. So then the Foot Clan threatens him because they were chasing Donatello and he doesn't know where he is. So they he's, they tell him, you are in the domain of the true Foot Clan. You will not escape. Like, look, 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 look. I know you guys got to put a brave face on for each other. But look at this guy. You don't win. In no scenario do you win. You don't win if you have an RPG against this guy. So Bane says, alright, it's a prison. Let's begin. Because he has experience with prisons. You're not going to... Look at this guy. What prison would hold him? He needs just a whole prison just for him. Not even a prison cell is going to hold this dude. This was pretty... This is like pretty weird. I think I'll probably have to get the second issue. Just because I, I just want to see the interaction between Batman and Donatello. Because I don't, I don't understand how they... Just, just imagine any... In, Incarnation of Donatello going up to Batman and being like, you know what? 
you and me, we're just alike. What? Well, how? Show me. So I'm probably going to have to get the second issue of this.